Okay, so the first propagation video is um, leaf petiole cuttings of African violet or St. Paulia ionantha or St. Paulia ionantha, never know how you pronounce that. So, otherwise known as our African violet plant. So, call the leaf petiole cutting because we need to remove a whole leaf lamina plus the leaf stalk or petiole. Um, so, this is my stock plant or my mother plant. So, first of all, I'm going to remove a healthy, fully grown, pest and disease free leaf from the mother plant and I'm going to cut right at the base because I don't want to leave a stump of the um, leaf petiole on the mother plant because it will just rot back. So I'm just going to angle this down now so I can show you. Okay, so this is where your knife, your sharp knife, it comes in handy again um, so you can really get in there. So going to get right in at the base and cut it off okay trying not to damage try not to damage your leaf so there's hardly any sorry any stump left there on the mother plant I'm going to put it under the bench actually because African violets don't like full sun and the, the sun's come out like mad okay so this is our uh, leaf PTL cutting you can see where I've cut it, it's a bit raggedy because I was, you know, having to slide in. So using our clean tile, um, I'm going to make a nice, clean, flat cut across the PTL. And this PTL should be five centimetres long. Okay, five centimetres long. So. We look at our ruler we're on four and a half centimeters so yeah near enough near enough okay our growing medium is what we've used before uh, for our stem cuttings it's 50% perlite and 50% multi-purpose you could also use 50% grit sand and 50% multi-purpose. I've used perlite because you can see it a little bit better on the video. So we've got our leaf PTL cutting. We're gonna make a dibber hole because we don't want to be shoving this delicate leaf stalk into the compost and damaging all the internal parts. So we make um, a dibber hole at the edge again for good drainage and it also supports the leaf a little bit. And we Firm it in, again, like we did with our stem cutting, gently with two fingers, but making sure that the base of the leaf lamina is not touching the compost, otherwise it will rot. Okay, and you can see that the edge of the pot just supports the leaf a little bit as well. So I'll just do, I'll just do one more. So I'm going to, you won't be able to see this, I'm off, off but... Um, so I've gone in, I've taken my leaf petiole cutting from the mother plant, do a nice sharp flat cut, make a dibber hole and you're going to make the depth of your hole about the length of the stem because you want that stem to be touching the compost when it's in the container. Put that in and then firm it in. I watered this compost beforehand because I could have watered it after but you must always make sure you don't get water on the leaf surface of African violet particularly if it's cold water they just don't like it that they're used to sort of warm um, wet conditions not cold wet conditions so when they get cold water on the leaves it just goes brown so you always water African violets from underneath or you, apparently you can get away if you use warm water, but I, I never risk it. Um, so we're going to put our label in. Now these, if they're put in a semi-shaded spot, they do not like full sun, you can get away without covering them because they're quite a hairy leaf, a bit like the pelagonium. 
but you can cover it you've just got to make sure that you keep removing the bag shaking out the excess condensation because they will rot easily so i tend to put them in the greenhouse underneath the bench so they just get indirect sunlight you could also put them in a heated propagator with a big lid i mean actually that's probably ideal the lid keeps them uh, a little bit more humid so they don't dry out but not too much and then also if it's a heated propagator you've got your bottom heat so what happens is nothing happens for a long time but what it is doing is it's first of all at the bottom of that PTO you make it makes the roots first so after about six weeks you could tug on the leaf very gently and it won't come out don't do it too early or short you'll damage that callous tissue uh, and you know it's made its roots and then eventually you get little baby um, leaves appearing as a cluster at the base of each um, leaf PTL cutting and I'll show you some of pictures of what that looks like on the PowerPoint coming next.